Well, something we've been following here at News Nation, the ongoing battle between Border Patrol agents trying to seize fentanyl pills and the cartels that supply the drug. Law enforcement raising concerns after rainbow colored pills have been seized at the border and they're now being found all across the U.S. So joining us now is Mark Powell, law enforcement analyst, a former police officer. Mark, thank you for being here. You know, I want to start with the headline that really stood out to me. You know, these pills, these rainbow colored pills found inside a Lego box. Would you say kids are being targeted here? Well, kids are absolutely being targeted. And in fact, they're being targeted through social media. Drug dealers are using social media to sell drugs online. And when they do that, they take pictures of the drugs and allow the children or the students to click on these pictures. Then they'll text them their address and they'll drop, they'll pay for the drugs through social media accounts, um, these pay apps. So it's really hard for law enforcement to track these drug dealers and stop kids from essentially buying what is heroin in their bedrooms. Well, exactly, you know, and we're seeing more and more of these cases. We're covering fentanyl in high schools. We know this can be deadly. How do we stop this? Well, it's gonna be challenging to stop it, but one of the things we need to do first is seal the border. It's extremely porous. We have to seal the border, hire more border and customs agents. Look, we lose 175 people every day to fentanyl. So can you imagine if we lost that many people in plane crashes every day? The outcry would be enormous. They would be calling the FAA. The phones would be ringing off the hook. We need that same outcry and that same push from our, our population. And we can do that either by communicating with our, our senators, by emailing our congressmen. But we need that to happen, and we need to have it now. And lay out for us, how connected is this? What we're seeing at the border with these record seizures of fentanyl? Okay, I live in San Diego, so I see firsthand what's going on because I'm on a border town. And San Diego, in just this fiscal year, has confiscated over 5,000 pounds of fentanyl pills. At total in the United States, they've confiscated 8,500. So San Diego is getting a disproportionate amount of the fentanyl coming across the border. In fact, it's 60 percent. It's getting into our schools. We need government. We need our government to mandate also that all schools be equipped with opioid emergency kits. All schools are equipped with fire extinguishers. It's mandated by law. But kids aren't dying because they're catching on fire or through fires. They're dying because of opioid overdoses. The same number of opioid emergency kits should equal the same number of fire extinguishers or AEDs that we have in schools. You know, and parents hear this. I think they feel helpless at times. If you want parents to walk away with one thing from this conversation, what is it? Okay, parents, you cannot control the strength of the drug, the accessibility of the drug, or the um, the way it's transported. But what you can control is the social aspect of the drugs. You have to sit with your kids. You have to open dialogue. You have to create a safe space for children to be able to confide in you and let you know what's going on. Because you're not going to be able to control the number of drugs that are coming across the border. You can control the social aspect of it. Yeah, anything will help here. Mark, thank you so much.